going on? Nick Unsworth here from Life on Fire, and I've got a very special guest, my man Andy Broadaway, book publishing expert and business strategist. And I do have to say, uh, we're here right now in Joseph McClendon's Studio A. Uh -huh. uh, Joseph McClendon III, who is um, just an incredible leader, and we're here because of you. And, uh, and I just want to just thank you for that and acknowledge you for that, that Andy is an incredible connector and you have a huge heart and you have made introductions and connections, not just for me, but for other people in our community. So yeah. that's cool. So yeah, totally connector cool. Love is that. in there. Love and that you're great too. at it. Yeah, you do yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. So um, I'd love for you to share, just give us a background of what led you into book publishing and then we're going to get into some specific tangible tips for you guys too. Yeah, cool. So uh, what started my uh, my publishing, I started my publishing company, Abundant Press, uh, uh, back in 1993, 1995, somewhere in there. Yep. Um, I've got a book that actually has my name in it from 1993 from a client, that, the very first book that I did for them. Mm -hmm. And I found that really books really are, is a way for people to really uh, establish that credibility piece to them. Yeah. Uh, when they're looking to get platform, when they're looking to uh, close the deal, the book really helps out close that. Because yep. when somebody sees your name on a book, it really does uh, drive the you know, drive yeah. that factor home. Uh, but what we have done over the years is not only have we done the book publishing, but we've also helped people create info products yep. that are, are a back end of the book itself. So okay. the book leads to help them build in a list and then ends up, uh, you create a, a lead funnel where you sell them info products on the backside. And then for some clients, we've, we've then taken the info product and then created them uh, in seminars, uh, you know, okay. seminar speakers on the platform, you know, them, you know, present yeah. on stage. So it's almost like from a strategy perspective, you've turned it where a lot of people would look at, I mean, I think everyone would agree that having a book is going to help elevate their status, their credibility, mm -hmm. um, so their brand is going to grow. And then what's interesting is what I've experienced, which is uh, I think very aligned with what you're saying, is that some people would look at it and say, well, I want to charge 20 bucks for the book because I want to make a lot of money from the book. And really what you're saying is it's not just about what the book costs. There's The book is the front end of a big, bigger or a much bigger marketing opportunity where yeah. someone that buys your book, they then learn about you, they love what you do, and then inside the book, it's going to take them to whole, it's going to basically open up a whole lot more opportunities to do business with you. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I'm thinking of that quote, don't don't trip over pennies to make dollars, yep. right? So a lot of times people focus on, mm -hmm. well, there, there's that, you know, I'm going to sell, I could buy the book for three or four bucks, sell for 20. Wrong focus. Because you never focus on the money made on the book. You may focus on the money you make because of the book. That's what good. are some of the channels that happen because of it? Yep. Like I've had clients appear on Dr. Phil. I've had clients, uh, you know, get interviewed by Jack Canfield just recently, yep. which doesn't happen very often. Um, you've been able to get them access to radio, television, mm -hmm. seminar platforms. What does that book bring you? That's what you focus on. Never focus on how much money that's made on the book because you're in your small thinking. Yep. Always, always, my beginning call with every client is, what is the end game? What is it you're wanting yeah. to achieve? If, if, you, if you could write it down on your book, what is that? What do you want to do with it? And when they start off with saying, well, I want to sell lots of books, uh, we're, then we're having a different conversation. Yep. Let's focus on what happens because of your book, opportunities yeah. because of your book. That's great. Yeah. I can see why you called it Abundant Press. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the abundance that happens because of you yeah. printing the yeah. book. Yeah. Abundant mentality with the book and then also just on the backside. So what would you say when someone says something like, well, Andy... Um, uh, what would I put in a book? Yeah. Because I think that so, some people, so what I love about with what you do is I feel like to me you inspire people to realize that, that everyone has a book inside them. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there's a lot of people that don't even realize that, that they have the capability because they're like, oh, well, that's just them. I, I'm not ready for that. So what would you say to someone that is that is in a stage where they're not consciously seeking a book? Like, what would you, what would you say to someone that maybe could help inspire them to say, you know what, maybe I could write a book? Well, uh, you know, a couple things come to mm -hmm. mind when you ask me that question. Uh, if you find yourself as a business owner, no matter what kind of business owner you are, if you're an attorney, mm -hmm. whether you're uh, an air conditioning specialist or whether you're uh, someone in dog care or whatever, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter which area. If you find yourself answering the same questions over and over again when people call you yeah. and say, so Andy, tell me about how do you do this or how do you do that? When If you mm -hmm. find a pattern and that pattern is you've got the same 20, 10 to 20 questions that people about ask you all the time, yeah. then it's time for you to write a book or create some videos on it, right? Mm -hmm. Either way. Yeah. Because then that will free up your time 
being able to take that, right, mm -hmm. and be able to hand somebody a book and say, oh, you know, instead of somebody asking me a question, well, will you, so how did you do that? Oh, well, by the way, I wrote about it, this on chapter three. Now you hand them the book, conversation changes. Mm. The whole conversation changed. Yep. And it happens every single time when somebody will, you know, I'll, you know, meet somebody new and I'll start asking about their business and what they do. And then they'll say, well, what do you do? And then I'll say, well, I'm a six time number one best selling author. And they'll go, what? Now the conversation levels up Yeah. every single time. It levels up to a completely different degree. And it isn't because I'm a six-time number one best-selling author. Yeah. I'm just a best-selling author. Yeah. The conversation changes. So if, you, if the business owner finds themselves in a place where they're answering the same questions over and over again, yeah. then it's time to put that book, then that information into a book where you can now reach more people. Yeah, that yeah. uh, makes, makes total sense. And what would you say for someone that uh, is like, yeah, oh, well, I don't, I'm not great at writing or, you know, um, they don't feel that they have the skill set. Okay, so that, that was very easy to do. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'll share from my own personal experience. When I was in elementary school, you know, we all have these stories of, uh, of, uh, of someone not being able to, you know, uh, you know limiting, uh, limiting uh, skills, right? Yep. I was in elementary school, and in elementary school, I got pulled out three times a week to go to a stuttering class, mm -hmm. a stuttering class. And the, the lady that pulled me out never said, Andy, it's time for your, uh, your, your uh, speech therapy. She always called me out and said, Andy, it's time for your stuttering class. Mm -hmm. Right, so I was lab labeled as a stutter. I had one best friend, his name was Robert, right? And Robert, if you're watching, hey, contact me too because yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen Robert in a while. Uh, one of my best friends down the street. But um, um, he, I, I, I was a stutterer. And so you think of it, well, how did I be overcome stuttering? Well, I overcome stuttering by putting myself into a position where I had to start talking to people, right? Yeah. And so it, the reason I share that story is because, you know, some people have these limiting beliefs about themselves and say, well, I have this or I had that, how do you do it? Mm -hmm. Well, we've had clients come to us and say, I've never written anything, I've never done anything, so how do I do it? Well, we've got a really simple process. If we can have a conversation, yeah. we can write a book. And so we're gonna we're gonna hone in on what are those top 10, 20, 30 questions that people ask you all the time. Yeah. We'll do an interview process and we're gonna create a book. It's not gonna be an interview book, just to make it clear. It's gonna be a book based on your information about your skill sets, about what you do. Yeah. And it's based on your own tonality of what you do. And I've got a team of people that work with me that are excellent at putting things together. Yep. I'm sort of the architectural piece of it all yeah. and the marketing guy and putting it all together, but I've got a team of highly skilled writers that will help someone nice. get their book done together. So, so you can basically shortcut the whole thing by having them speak it out. Absolutely, by speaking it huge. out and we do a series of uh, phone calls, recorded phone calls, or we'll do them in person. Yep. Maybe we'll, uh, in some cases, what we'll do with a client is instead of them uh, doing the whole thing because maybe we got to build a bigger picture in mind, we'll yep. bring them into our studio and do a different studio. We, we have our own. Yep. Bring them into a studio and we will record all of the content in an interview video uh, okay. sequence, right? Yeah. So later on, the video pieces can be used for marketing. Break them up nice. and make them smaller, right? Yep. So I always think about, you know, where is it that we can take this project and where does it go? Or where yep. do we get the most, most benefit of it? Okay. And it's not about a client looking, staring into a camera, uh, because that you know, scares the bejeebies out of most people, right? Looking right. straight into the camera, right? Um, but um, uh, so we work on a conversation basis mm -hmm. and we get that content out. So easy easy to burn out. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I want to have you on here is because it's you're changing the mindset and you're changing the landscape of, of how people not only think about writing a book, but how they execute actually writing a book. Yeah. And I know, so for my personal experience with having a book is, you know, I called it the book on Facebook marketing. So yeah. I was doing a lot of Facebook marketing work. And of course, people think of me like, oh, well, he wrote the book. Like he's got to know something. Yeah. But that book Still to this day, we get at least a sale a week, and that's they 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 go to the book, they read through it, they are fond of the content, and they're like, oh, well, this guy's cool, and they they like what we're teaching, and then they'll go through, and then they'll, um, you know, they'll end up getting free content. So it's not like the book is a big sale, you know, sales yeah. feeling thing. They're just like, oh, well, if you want more, here's ten videos, and they check out the videos, and mm -hmm. they say, oh, this is great, right? And then it's like, well, here's the next step. Here's a course that's a couple hundred bucks, and so it's just one of these things where. When you see that happen, and uh, you know, it just blows my mind that the book is found on the top of the search results for Amazon. Yeah. Because in the, what you were talking about, the abundant mindset, like, like people that type in Facebook marketing, our book is still on the first page, mm -hmm. and I haven't done anything with it. Right. 
you know, right. and it's like I have well, I have, I have clients that come to the event, and I have clients that'll be like, oh, well, I read your book, and next thing you know, I'm coaching. So it's like, from a marketing perspective, yeah, I, there's launch strategies and things, but like, man, just think about getting your book out there, and then having it rank. So when someone searches your topic on Amazon, boom, and you pop up. And it just, it's like, it's just so good for business and it oh, just yeah. creates ongoing revenue. And, and I think the way that you've designed the process so it doesn't take as much time is huge. Oh yeah. So in what other, what are, what's another big objection that someone says that you hear of like, oh, well, here's why I wouldn't write a book. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the, so, someone will say, well, I don't type really well, or, um, I need an editor or, yeah. m you know, my grammar isn't correct or I I'm afraid. A lot of people will say, well, I'm afraid of putting something out there mm -hmm. because I'm afraid of what other people will say. Um, so that, you know, that, you know, that happens. Yeah. So we help them walk through the process so that when they do put a book out, that mm -hmm. it is something that they can be proud of and, you know, and, and want to yeah. happen and be able to want to use. And sure. how confident are you that uh, for folks that work with you or follow your strategies um, that they will become a bestseller? Well, I'm confident to say that our success rate is 99.8%. Nice. Well, that's all. To, to yeah, be that's a number one bestseller. It's pretty good. We are pretty good, <laughs> right? And the only reason that that point two, and I'll, I'll focus that out because sometimes people focus on the point two, and the, the point two was we had a book launch for a client that was in a very highly competitive category yeah. in, on Amazon, and it was health and fitness, so mm -hmm. really highly competitive. He made it to number two. Yeah. So did pretty well, hey. but but a number number one. But recently, what we've been doing is we've done we've, we've been doing some international best selling launches now. Okay. So recently, we just had a a, a client. Uh, in fact, just the uh, last week, we took her to international bestseller uh, status four countries. We only promised her two. Mm -hmm. We got four countries. Was also able to get her to be the number two. This is something new Amazon's doing. Yeah. Is they're tracking the popularity of someone. She became the number two most popular person, uh, most popular hmm. author on Amazon, and she's still that way for four days in a row. Most Second most too popular um, uh, author on Amazon Dang. in health, fitness, and yeah. dieting, which is a pretty healthy Big competitor. Yeah. She, yeah. she beat out Deepak Chopra. She beat out the Pope, uh, not, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Mother Teresa, Tuesdays with Maury. Yeah. Um, so, you ones, know, yeah. great success for her, yeah. and it's ongoing. It was just not just a one-at-a-time splash. But what end up like what you said? What end up you know with the thing with your book is that her and her book inside of her book, and we do this with every book. It says register this book to get more information, yep. videos, resources, training materials, and you dedicate a website just for the book. Yeah. Don't take them to a website where there's a bunch of where buttons for them to press. Yeah. Just a website where them to register the book, and when they get into your lead funnel system, then give them some free content as you yep. delivered some high value content. And then you lead them into another sale, and she's got a product that's selling for $197, yeah. and they'll and she'll end up building her list, and or she has, already yeah. has. But that's the idea: the book becomes a lead magnet, the ultimate yeah. lead magnet tool. That's good, the ultimate yeah. lead magnet tool. Yeah. And uh, so, so how would uh, how would they get in touch with you? So, well, uh, so the, yeah, no. so you can go to our website called abundantpress.com. Real simple, yeah. abundantpress.com. You'll find. You know, information there, some brief information. We don't get into specifics there. We like to get into a great one-on-one -on -one call yep. so you can schedule a call with myself. Cool. And we'll get into, we do like a 30-minute strategy call, really to determine whether we're going to work together to kind of flesh out yep. the idea to and see where it's at. is that complimentary? That. Yeah, complimentary. Uh, so you, you'll book a time on my calendar, and we just, uh, you know, rock and roll from there. I love it. Andy yeah. Broadaway. Yeah. Book publisher. Absolutely. Connector. Absolutely. Oh, and you left one thing. Yeah. Handsome. I was guy just with a gonna say. I literally okay. was just gonna say, <laughs> handsome devil. <laughs> yeah, handsome guy with a bow tie. That's funny. Yeah. Handsome guy with a bow tie. Well, thanks again, man. Uh, and Appreciate by it. the way, if I if I'm yeah. not if I'm not wearing the bow tie, I'm wearing a life on fire hey. shirt. All Even the time. better. We yeah, gotta find totally. a way to put them together. Yeah, put them together. <laughs> We're gonna strap a bow tie on the shirt. In fact, there is a photo floating around with me with oh. a life on fire shirt on. We may need that with a this. bow tie uh, on there. Yeah. So very cool. All right. Well, All right. Good cool. stuff, man. Thanks a lot. All right. No doubt. All right. See you guys.